Unlike the last time, this time Devon has been able to find a weak spot in Levan's mental game and he's exploiting it every single chance that he gets. Hello I'm wrestling fans in today's video we will discuss the highlights of the Devon vs Levan interview. Is Devon's mind game, his trash talk game falling apart with age? If Guinea Prudnik's come back, he may not be as strong as we think he could have gotten after more than one year of recovery. And finally, Denis Siplenkov's current shape update. So let's start. Levan, you basically lost to Hermes. Whether you want to admit that or not, anybody who really loves arm wrestling struggles to find your victory. We know by now that Levan absolutely hates it whenever somebody brings his last two rounds loss in the Hermes Gasparini super match, basically discrediting his earlier 4-0 domination over Hermes Gasparini. Well, it wasn't really domination in a couple of rounds, but still he won fair and square. So after these comments, I tried to go back to Devon's reaction video, which was uploaded right after the Hermes vs Levan super match in hopes of finding something different there. Maybe Devon is just trying to trash talk and get into the head of Levan by saying those things and he truly doesn't believe them. But no, I was wrong. Devon said those exact same things even back then as well. So it looks like he really, really believes that Hermes could have defeated Levan that day. First, when you make a guy not even want to get back onto the table, yeah, guess what? You beat him. You really beat him. And even talking about his own match after being asked by Engin Terzi, Devon said that he only said that he doesn't want a rematch against Levan because his bicep was injured and he does not want to discredit his win by talking about his bicep injury. He wanted Levan to have that moment. He didn't want to make any excuse which can discredit Levan's win just like we saw in the Hermes Gasparini match. But the truth, according to Devon, was that he would have won that match. He would have defeated Levan if it wasn't for the bicep injury. So now we can see Levan getting attacked back and forth from every single direction. Even Hermes Gasparini has uploaded a video calling out Levan Saganashvili to stop crying and to stop making excuses about their match, which he already won. Hermes said that Levan told him that he's 190 kilos, he's the strongest that he has ever been. But in the interview, he claimed that he was only able to do 25% of the workouts which he intended to do in order to prepare for the Hermes Gasparini super match. And yeah, even in this interview, Levan said that he lost the final two rounds to Hermes Gasparini just because he couldn't train well, he was sick before the match and now he is a lot stronger and I think we can guess that Levan believes that that match will go differently this time. Hermes on the other hand also believes the same that now he knows how to beat Levan and he will do it. Alright, the talk about the 115kg weight category. Devon was advised by Levan to drop to 115 kilos after he loses this match. Devon's response, I can do that any single day. 105, 115, I feel like I already have those belts. I can pull at 105 and 115 any single day. I don't think there's a human being on planet that can stop me. Who's gonna beat me at my weight? Now these are some really really confident words. But being confident doesn't necessarily mean that your trash talk game is on point. I was noticing this for almost a year now that Devon's trash talk game has fallen apart drastically. But for obvious reasons I was kind of scared to public that opinion. But right now I've seen a lot of comments with similar opinions. People saying that Devon's trash talk game is basically over right now. In the Prudnik match his Basic thing was even gay Prudnik, then Denis Siplenkov was also termed as gay, then Gyorgi Svetkov, then Levan is also a woman talking about genitals and stuff. So this is the level right now. Not saying that Devon cannot do that or maybe I am saying that Devon cannot do the level of trash talking, the quality of trash talking that he used to do back in the day. And that's pre-match hype stuff. Even the during match trash talks. I mean, let's compare. I am way, way too strong, Jerry. I thought you said you wouldn't quit, Dave. One more year, Matt Mask. So these things were really, really high level in my opinion. And right now, just watch Devon's matches. The trash talk between the matches, mid-match, 
it just doesn't exist maybe there is a relation between being funny being witty on the table and being strong the stronger you get the less focused you are about these small things and maybe that's what's happening to devon he is more serious right now the fun element inside him is slowly going away with the amount of strength that he is gaining i wouldn't say this is just my opinion because many people believe that right now what are your thoughts about this please mention in the comment so if gini prodnik recently competed in the kalina arm wrestling cup which was a qualifier for east versus west I don't believe if Gini needs to qualify to compete at East versus West because he is the former East versus West. Ch so after the event, after he won his class, he tried to practice pull with Sergey Kalinichenko outside of straps. They were kind of equal, but in the straps, Kalinichenko dominated him. We can say that Prudnik was tired because he intentionally got into some long rounds in the tournament, but still Kalinichenko should not dominate Prudnik so easily inside the straps. Let's see what shape Prudnik is able to get himself into in his upcoming match at East versus West 13 which hasn't been announced yet. So speaking of the physical shape, Denis Siplenkov is looking lean and I'll say which sounds crazy, he's almost looking kind of skinny, which is absolutely unrealistic to say because the man is less than 6 foot 2, he's weighing about 120 125 kilos, absolutely shredded and he still looks kind of skinny. That's amazing. But what I heard from some of the guys who are close with Dennis that right from the Devil Lad super match up until now, Dennis has been basically on no juice at all. So the bare minimum stuff that these bodybuilders and powerlifters and strength athletes take when they are completely off season Dennis has been only on that. That's why when we compare the photos from the Devon match and now, it's clear. The difference is clear. He is not in that shape right now. He will be in the future, but not right now. But as of now, watching these King of the Table practices, it looks scary for Dennis to compete against Hermes Gasparini. And once again, they are revealing some of the weaknesses in Dennis's game. Let's hope Dennis is able to get to a new level and give Hermes Gasparini a good match. Thanks for watching, like the video and subscribe.